Hi guys and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, in the last episode obviously I was in Azumo Bay. I decided to come to the Golden Temple. Um, I've basically made some upgrades. Um, so my explosive, I've got more explosive arrows, more sticky bombs because I like to use them. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I've upgraded my sword. And that's it. And now I'm going to start doing Masako's uh, subquest, I think. Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farnstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as headman, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake, but his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. The headman. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother. And mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. <laughs> She's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rusted sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Look, the man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sada's brother. He's leaving. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. I'm not caring for you when we're done. It looks like there's some Mongols up ahead. <clears throat> oh, I might be wrong. He has visitors. We can't let them see us.
He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. brother. Still an idiot. But he has good sake. Today, today was a note. <laughs> that note is more important than your life. If we fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are family. <laughs> From a bad family. His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted? When Kuta Farmstead was sold on right? Yes. Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protest? Headman Sadov! The coward! I know it. Right. So next time you think of a headman, remember the truth of that. Sounds like a nice guy. So what's the plan? A woodcutter's house, guarded by bandits. Sada's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Fight me! Seeing she's gone running in. One down. Two down. Three down. Who's next? That was a pretty fun fight. Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. A note from Sado. Hachi gave it to the guards. Doesn't say where he's hiding. Hina, word of my involvement in the Adachi massacre has gotten out. I'm sure it didn't come from you. You know that the danger of fucking to my life remain hidden and silent until I send for you. Trust in my cousins, their loyalty to me and skill with the blade. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you meet anyone bearing this mon, take your own life. All my love. Sadao. 
Well, she's not taken her own life. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Sakai. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. She can't stay here. Take her to my estate. She's going to kill me! No harm will come to you. <laughs> She's like... Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. to next uh could do that one or we could go down here to the value of sake i think i will do that one let's go do that one come on sora because i want some sake Ooh, what was that what did i miss uh, bamboo Lady Masako riding for the beach at Komoda. Her husband died there, and her sons. I hear Mongols still hold the beach. I worry for her safety. I worry more for what she'll do to them. <laughs> but you're right. I shouldn't leave her alone. Thunder again. Hello. Where are you taking me? Join me for a cup of tea. Tea. This is the famed Key Sake Brewery of Ozumo. Please. This way. Odd. <laughs> better oh <laughs> maybe not apologies my lord I couldn't speak freely out there the Mongols might have overheard 
Mongols have been here? They've been drinking us dry. I can't fault their taste. Kisake is the pride of Tsushima. Especially compared to that horse piss they drink. I think it's mare's milk. Is there a difference? <laughs> I'm coming back. Soon. Take your workers and hide. I'll deal with the Mongols. Of just taking all your supplies and stuff, yeah. Defeat the Mongols. There is. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Well done. Like it's not something I do every day. Can you stay? You could drink as much sake as you like. <laughs> it would be on the house. I'm afraid you'll need to relocate. Try the Golden Temple in Ariake. 
Many have found refuge there. Thank you, my lord. I like that we're slowly rebuilding these towns full of people. Refugees, but you know. It's a shame it doesn't update the, um, you know, the town gets bigger or whatever, you know. I'd like that. That'd be cool. Right, where to next, people? There's an undiscovered location not too far from here, and then there's another one here, so I'll go to them. And then we could go to Kenji's Tail. It's only one of three, so. Or we could go to this one over here. The cost of iron. I don't know. I feel like we should do Kenji's Tail because Kenji's Tail is only three quests, and plus it's in an area that we've never been, like not never been before, but I'm going the wrong way. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's mostly unexplored, whereas we've explored quite a bit of this map already. Like the mid, like the middle of the map, we've explored quite a bit. Um, so I'm curious to see what we'd find with Kenji. Plus, Kenji's a sake dealer, and I like sake, so <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. I promise. Hot spring. Hot springs are good. We like hot springs. They increase your health. What shall I reflect on? Saving my uncle next spring. Saving my uncle. When uncle is free, we'll eat his favorite meal. Vegetables sweetened with meeting on a bed of rice. Sounds lovely. Who wants to bet we're heading up to that tree up there? Yep, seems like it. Take this path up here. Looks like a way to climb up here. Okay, so it's not that one. <laughs> We ran when the Mongols came. Father said the Kami will keep us safe. The shrine would be a good hiding spot to offer us protection.
I need to find a way up there. So we're jumping. Oh god. <laughs> Plenty of stuff to collect around here. That's always good. Always makes me happy. The father's sick. He can't stop shivering and we're running out of food. As if that weren't bad enough, the Mongols are back. Brother is scared they'll find a way across the bridge. I wonder if we'll have to fight some uh, mongols on the top here or, whatever, or we'll just find a bunch of dead bodies which would be a shame yeah that ain't no way I'm jumping across that So it must be this way. I don't know about you guys, but if I jumped on a branch like that, I guarantee it would snap. <laughs> uh, rain? Oh, I can't be dealing with rain when we're near a shrine. And just like that, it stops. Amazing. Ah, oh, scroll. So tough. It's beautiful up here. He wasn't wrong. It is beautiful up here. What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? <laughs> Look at the moon, man. That's amazing. Charm of Inari. Increased supplies, put at high as bamboo and yew wood gained from collecting. That might come in handy. What can I do with getting rid of? Let's get rid of that one. 
No, it won't let me. Oh, yeah, because it's a minor, major one. Uh, okay. Ow. Right guys, let's go to um, Kenji's tail. We'll fast travel to the fox den. I'm sure you, the last thing you want to see is me walk to places now. Now that we've unlocked a bit more of the map, we may as well use it. This is Mongol territory you're directing me to, isn't it? Because if it is, I'm gonna <laughs> liberate it. That's what I do. No, it's not, it's a quest. My lord, will you please help me? Oh guys, we'll do this quest and then we'll uh, call it there and um, we'll go to uh, Kenji on the next episode. Yes. What is it? I have to get to a camp in the woods, occupied by people who are seriously ill. They need a healer. The area is overrun with bandits and Mongols. Yes. I'll need protection. I can get you there. But the sickness concerns me. You're sure you can fight it? Sickness isn't something you fight. It's something you have to care for. If the people are as ill as you say, we should leave now. Stop the sickness before it spreads. Thank you, my lord. A healer's touch. Didn't do much for that guy hanging there, did he? How did you survive the battle at Komoda? It was thanks to a woman, Yuna. She rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was always sick. But through her knowledge of herbs, she made me strong. She's the reason I'm a healer. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Good eye. Stay back. Let me handle it. Where are you hiding? We don't have any fire! Please don't hurt us! Are you cowards? Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it baited me into that. Damn it. So they've all got supplies. Oh, one supply each. <laughs> you shouldn't be traveling here alone. We had to leave our farmstead, my lord. Everyone there is sick. What brought it on? Spirits. Our ancestors are punishing us. We gave the Mongols our food instead of fighting back. When they left, everyone grew ill. Now our home is cursed. There's an inn just down the road. You should be safe there. It's much too dangerous outside. Get indoors and stay there. Thank you. I only hope the spirits don't follow us. Jesus, even the people in in uh, Japan are on lockdown. <laughs> I'll trade you for anything. You're quite the butcher with that sword. What would you have done with the bandits? In my experience, firm but polite words go a long way. You have experience with bandits then? I just think one should try to resolve a problem peacefully before resorting to violence. Spoken like a healer. You chose the right occupation. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would have worked, mate, to be fair. Something poisonous. Take me to him. What about those suffering at the camp? We've already delayed. It will only take a moment. I'll help. Perhaps we can make this quick. Thank you, my lord. I knew. We have no food. I'll see if I can find what it was. Thank you, my lord. Nothing but boiled water. Magic, 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 magic mushrooms, nice probably. Empty. Oh, look at this. Wild mushrooms, half eaten. This must be it. I should tell Hanauka. Magic, 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 magic mushrooms. Did you find anything? Half eaten mushrooms. You fool! You know better. He must have eaten them out of desperation. I can make an antidote, but I need river moss. Stay with him. I'll find the moss. Cool. My lord, did you find the moss? Here it is. Homeo, listen carefully. Crush this moss, add it to a cup of water and bring to a boil. Have him drink the mixture, and he should be fine by tomorrow morning. Those at the camp need us now. Yes, let's go. Thank you for saving my son. I love how they just shut the door behind each other. Like, leave it open, that man. man's symptoms were the same as the couple from the farmstead. Aching, vomiting, labored breathing. <laughs> symptoms of poisoning. You think the farmstead was poisoned? I'm almost sure of it. In which case, I'll need tubers to treat them. The moss was fine for that man, 
but tubers are stronger. They grow at a nearby pond. Let's be quick. This to your discretion, my lord. Yeah, it's probably the best thing to do. Go for the hornet's nest. Over here, my lord. You found the tubers? Yes. Thanks to you, I'm able to harvest them. It's just... Watching you, I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. I do. I kill only to protect our people. I think about that every time I reach for my sword. Of course. I'm sorry, sorry, my lord. Let's go heal those who need it. The camp should be just ahead. My wife, she stopped breathing. How long has she been sick? Ever since the Mongols came by our farmstead. What did she eat? We had no food. Just water from the well. I'm sorry. She's gone. Fuck. <laughs> Only I'd gotten here sooner. You did your best. But maybe if I hadn't delayed, 
With that couple and that man. If we hadn't stopped, those people would be dead. You also wouldn't have figured out these people were poisoned. Perhaps. But I still don't know how. The well. That man said his wife had nothing but water from the well. And we know people started getting sick after the Mongols left. They must have polluted the well. A contaminated water source would spread sickness like wildfire. But it's treatable? Yes, the tubers will see to it. Then help those you can. Thank you, my lord. You have saved many lives. Right guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.